Well, hello there, and good afternoon, or evening, <laughs> I should say, YouTube, my friends here. Uh, I'm uh, William Brantley uh, from the University Village Apartments on Walker Road in the North Jackson, Tennessee area, ready to share with you today's climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days shortly. Turned out to be another nice, warm, uh, summer-like day, even though uh, fall began at 3.02 uh, p.m. Uh, fall is here, summer is gone, technically, but it still feels like it. And summer will be here till about next Thursday or Friday, then it'll start cooling down and actually feel like fall. But in lots of ways, it's felt like fall on and off throughout the summer season. So it really wasn't a super hot uh, summer. We did not hit 100 degrees uh, as the actual temperature during the summer season. Uh, we did have a few heat indexes above 100, but uh, that's about it. Uh, let me proceed on into the uh, <clears throat> climate summary for today and uh, take it from there. Uh, today's low temperature here in uh, North North Jackson, Tennessee was 65 degrees this morning. Uh, today's high has been uh, 94 degrees. Normal low is 56 and normal high is 82. Uh, no rainfalls fell today since midnight. I, I didn't have any yesterday either. But around the 6 p.m. hour last night, my friend Josh Estes reported a trace of rain in the Bemis area at that time. Now, uh, at 4 p.m., the skies here in North Jackson was uh, partly cloudy. The temperature then was 92 degrees. It felt like 93 degrees. The humidity was 69%. The pressure, excuse me, humidity was at 47%. The wind was calm. And the barometric pressure was 29.99 inches of mercury. And I mentioned a while ago that today's high has been 94 so far here in North Jackson. Today's highest heat index, so it feels like temperature, reached 95 degrees at 12 noon. Today's lowest uh, humidity would be 47% at uh, 3 and 4 p.m. The highest would be 100% at 12 through 8 a.m. Excuse me there. And uh, lowest barometric pressure today would be 29.99 inches at 4 p.m. The highest would be 30.08 inches, and that occurred at 9 through 11 a.m. Today's highest wind gust so far, 9 miles per hour out of the southeast at uh, 9.38 a.m. Today's records for September the 22nd, the hottest time would be 97 degrees, and that occurred in uh, 2010. The coolest high would be 65 degrees in 1995. The warmest low would be 74 degrees in 1980. And the coldest low, whoo, get this one, 36 degrees this morning in 1983. That's getting down there, my friends. Um, new rainfall record for today, 2.17 inches in 1992. Okay, uh, hold on just a second, please. My throat was getting a little dry there. <laughs> Sometimes that happens when you talk on uh, video. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go on into the uh, charts and maybe I won't need my glasses for the rest of the video. I'm going to go ahead and show you the local radar, thanks to AccuWeather. 
letting you see that there's nothing on the radar, near Jackson at least. There was a small little tiny blimp of something uh, down there near the, uh, well, actually down there near Pickwick Dam, but it has since uh, dissipated. Well, let me show you what I see. Right now, right here in Jackson, there's absolutely nothing around us. Looks real nice and clear and uh, rain free, of course. And you may or may not, did you see that little blimp down there that pops up to, uh, south of, of uh, Savannah? Well, it disappears, so that may have been a very quick rain shower or something else. A false echo, possibly. And that's really the only thing that I see trying to even pop up on the radar anywhere around. At least within a hundred mile radius of Jackson, anyways, or thereabouts. All right, let's look at the statewide radar. I believe that's correct. Uh, yes, I'm gonna go with this uh, color because it seems to show up a little bit better. The gray background. That's actually trying to show that uh, little pop up down there in Hardin, in Hardin County earlier, but it's gone. And according to this one, there's a few showers possibly over in Arkansas. They'll be gone soon. There's nothing, uh, maybe a couple of showers here and there in Illinois, but I'm sure they'll be gone quickly. The only showers that may not be gone quickly is way on down there toward, uh, well, down there in the south central part of Mississippi. And, and on down that area, but they seem to be maybe uh, stationary or maybe drifting slightly southwest. No effect on us. Same thing over in Alabama. They have a few uh, east of Birmingham, Alabama there. Some in Georgia, especially south of Atlanta. There's a pretty heavy shower and thunderstorm there and Another area on down further in the southeast part of Georgia, uh, and but they're not going to affect us any. Looks like there's one over the Appalachian Mountains right on the Tennessee-North Carolina border, but it looks like it's getting ready to dissipate. Other than that, the state is almost rain-free, period. Almost. 99% rain-free, or maybe 99.5%. <laughs> I don't know if I can use that kind of language. And let's see if I can get a close-up view right there. I hate picking up the mic, the, picking it up because most of the time I shake it too much. The camera that is. Alrighty, get this where it won't fall anywhere. Uh, let's look at the uh, visible satellite picture. Thanks to uh, also AccuWeather. It basically shows the same thing the radar shows. Uh, fair skies. Fairly clear statewide. Few clouds going by from time to time. And they appear to be drifting southwest when they do. Over here, we're in good shape at the moment. And should continue to be in good shape. A little thicker clouds down there where those uh, showers were in Mississippi and Alabama, and of course Georgia. Otherwise, everybody's reasonably fair all around us. Alrighty. Alrighty. I guess I'm ready for the current map features. Thank you, Weather Channel. This one's as of... Uh, 4.17 p.m., about 4.17 p.m., Central Daylight Time, which is less than an hour ago. It really hasn't changed much since lunch, as you can see. Now, four high-pressure systems taking care of us. <laughs> one over northern West Tennessee, one over southeast corner of uh, Kentucky, one over the West Virginia, Virginia, and Maryland border, and one over the Pennsylvania-New York border. 
taking care of most of the country, eastern half anyways. A few showers of southeast and the southeast portions, but they are scattered. There's a big blob off of, and into the ocean east of, uh, of uh, Florida. And generally speaking, scattered showers in spots out west. There's uh, three highs and four lows. <laughs> My goodness. Out west, sort of in the four corners area, as some people might be familiar with. Uh, out west. Looks like there's some possible snow developing uh, or falling in the mountains of uh, Montana there in the western, western portions. And that's the uh, uh, systems up north, uh, not far from the Canadian border. And that's pretty much it, my friends, for today. Oh, I'll go ahead and let you know, see this. And that low pressure system you see right there, or what looks like to be a low, that's uh, what's left of Jose. And, it, and it's only a tropical low now. It's lost its tropical storm and depression characteristics. It's gotten that weak. And down here, that's uh, Maria, Hurricane Maria. All right, and it's got a 125 mile an hour wind gust, and it's a category three hurricane. Let me show you two real quick off the weather channel. Well, they're still showing it. But there's the information about it for you. Ah, there's a satellite uh, uh, picture for you. Let me go ahead and show that to you too. While I'm at it, I'll let you see what's that. There's a, a visible satellite picture of it. And that's the track it's expected to take. It looks like it's heading right on up to the uh, coastline, or off the coastline at least, uh, by Wednesday of, the, of next week. And if they're trying to find someone in Puerto Rico, that's the contact information for you. If you should be. That's another map. I'll let you see this one one more time. And the track it's expected to take. I'm sure it's going to show it again. In just a second. Yeah. And then I'll move on. I'll let you see that track one more time. Looks like it may head off almost to New York, kind of like uh, the other one did. Um, and here's the information one more time. But you might need to want to know. I could plug it out, let you see all of it, couldn't I? I don't think you can see it that good if I did it the whole thing at once. Maybe. Alright. Oh, get the camera off a little too far there. You probably can't see it as good when I get that far away. Alright, let's, uh, one more time to track and then I'll come back home. All right, now let me come back home uh, closer to Jackson, Tennessee. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, I think I'm ready to read you the forecast, in all honesty, which is good for us. Matter of fact, I was just looking at the 15-day outlook, and boy, i tell you what, it looks fairly dry for the most part from now for the next nine days all the way through october the first even but getting cooler by about thursday or friday of next week but staying warm between now and then and fair uh, mostly clear to fair skies with uh, lows in the upper 60s and highs in the upper 80s to lower 90s that whole time frame all right let me get a little technical with you here 
because you know autumn began today at 3.02 p.m. and we'll have east winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour this evening and overnight sort of calm though after about 10 o'clock on to about sunrise tomorrow morning probably we should have fair skies of course tomorrow low near 66 high of about 90 with east winds of 5 to 10 the sun sets tonight at 6 is 6 52 p.m. and rises tomorrow morning at 6 44 a.m. the moon will be setting tonight at 8 37 p.m. and rise tomorrow morning at 9 56 a.m. we're still sort of in the new moon phase but may start soon heading into the first quarter phase of the moon all right uh, okay Sunday's weather forecast and Monday and Tuesday it's going to be uh, mostly clear to partly cloudy at worst with the low Sunday morning near 66 a high of 90 southeast winds of 5 to 10 low of 64 Monday high of 90 for southeast winds again at 5 to 10 miles per hour on Tuesday mostly clear low near 64 high of 90 once more for southeast winds at 5 to 10 and Wednesday of next week is going to be the last a sort of warm day for a little while, or at least a good week anyways. Wednesday, mostly clear, low near 65 and a high of 87, with west winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Oh, and the first quarter moon is complete next Wednesday, the 27th. Next Thursday, it's going to start cooling off. Uh, mostly clear skies, low near 62, high of only 77. With north winds at 10 to 20, next Friday the 29th, fair skies with a low near 56 and a high of 78 with north winds at 10 to 20. And then next Saturday and Sunday looks fabulous. Uh, mostly clear skies both days with a low near 54 next Saturday morning, high of 72 with north winds at 10 to 20. And next Sunday, October the 1st, uh, mostly clear, low near 51, and a high of 73. So it'll be a lot cooler by next weekend with north winds at 10 to 20. So it's going to be kind of warm this weekend and very nice next weekend. <laughs> that's not too bad of a trade-off, is it? Well, alrighty, I think that's it for the night, folks. Uh, I believe I've covered everything I wanted to cover with you. And I hope you all have a very pleasant Friday night, uh, uh, September the 22nd. And I hope you enjoy your Friday night and whatever you may want to do. And I uh, hope you uh, wish all of you sweet dreams. I hope you all wake up to a beautiful Saturday, September 23rd, 2017. And hope to get a chance to talk to you again tomorrow afternoon via Facebook. Uh, share it over to uh, Twitter and Facebook from YouTube. Maybe I should put it that way. <laughs> okay. Well, good night, everybody, and God bless.